Veganuary is coming, Veganuary is coming, Veganuary is coming in the new year. Veganuary is coming, Veganuary is coming, and this is the time to make the change. Come along, come along to Veganuary, join Veganuary online, and make the change to leave animal products out of your lives. Do it. You know it's best for the for the earth. It's best for the environment. It's best for your health. The veganuary is itself provides is a free service. Uh, it provides advice initially on everything about where to find uh, alternative foods to the present meat foods that you will be consuming and that includes not just finding them where to find them and everything like that but if should you be eating out uh, which may not be so at the present time also where to eat out and that advice will probably be given anyway you know, for whenever lockdown or whatever is happening uh, happens the the free advice comes down to everything dietitians so everything nutritionally that you need to know uh, the types of food that you'll need um, advice on different foods that you can make up if you're not buying the processed foods that make up so many of our meals and and also should you ever need it specific medical advice this is always provided with the proviso that you check with your doctor should anything so that anything can be sorted out at any time the changes are necessary and it is best for us all these this pro this is probably even more important at this present time with the virus situation that is engulfing the world more so because the health benefits of not consuming animals are well established scientifically proven over and over again over the last 50 60 and even as far back as a hundred years ago the vegan diet is listed as the most healthy diet and this is not a promotion for that this is just what the facts are the scientific facts of the situation are please make the change please join veganery for yourself the environment and animals add to this that animal agriculture is costing us in taxes as well the subsidies that are paid to animal farming vastly outweigh the what it really costs to produce animals <clears throat> practically maybe 70% of all animals produced in farming would not get produced if there were no subsidies because the cost of each individual animal product would be nearly five times higher than at present or at least double in many cases if not <laughs> if not the five times higher and that is because the subsidies allow for 
the animals when sold to be sold cheaper than they would ever be. You only have to think about the actual things that are done with animals to realise that animals can never be a profitable so uh, uh, position. For a start, if you happen to have a farm, practically the whole of your farm would be providing only food for your animals. If you have a field of animals, it's not only that field that those animals will be feeding off of, if indeed they are feeding off of that, that field. In many cases they're not. When it comes to pigs, they're not because of uh, pigs are fed grain, chickens are fed grain, not the actual grasses. Cows could have grasses but are still fed grain. Sheep eat grasses but again at times are still fed crops from other fields outside of the fields they will eat from. This is so you, you when you look at when you go out of a town and you look across the fields and you see all the flat fields with nothing but the crops or grasses on them those fields, that's not natural land that is not natural at all natural land will always have at the very least bushes and clumps of big tall grasses at the very minimum and in most cases will have trees and lots of more vegetation any fields that you see that are flat that are just crops or whatever which is a vast majority of the land that we simply do not need to be farming and so actual foot, actual government takes taxes from us to give to farms to make sure they keep that those crops and fields available for farming animals now there's no proper common sense to this so the only sort of reasons we can substantiate um so can we can sort of ascertain as being from this is that government wants the land management of our all our lands as it is at present over 80% of all land in Britain is farmed and you, well, you're down to only 13% of land that is actually forested and quite a substantial amount of the forested land is actually forestry commission which is practically a farmed forest so the other the other part of the six or seven percent is is basically land that is owned by private landowners. Even most of the royal estates are farmed. It's uh, it's uh, it's massively unnecessary. those are some of the basics anyway you can look these up on uh, even government websites um the just that google the the uk farming and most of the information is is there about land use uh, what's used for what's done with animals crops everything it is all there just check it out it's all just a little bit of added information for the veganuary what, uh, what I'm putting forward about veganuary uh, um, veganuary itself is the most important thing to do do it for the animals this year please the sooner we make the change 
the sooner it will be better for every, everywhere, including ourselves.